Hello guys and welcome back to Crafty Fox Blue. This is episode number three of Foxshot School, a realistic building. So today we're going over World Edit, which is a very useful tool, mainly used in um, Minecraft Java Edition. I'm going to be showing you all the commands that we're going to be using for today. And let's get started. So what you want to do is first get the tool itself. So you want to write a double slash, and this double slash goes in front of almost every World Edit command. And you're going to write wand and that's how you get this uh, wooden axe which is the main tool for world edit and another way you can just go into your creative inventory and just grab it from there it works the same all right so first off you want to select an area you want to world edit so i'm going to place the two blocks in the corners and to select an object you want to left click the first position and right click the second position and these are basically the two furthermost corners of it. And you don't even have to have it on the same level. You can um, select it up there, for example. All right, so once you've selected it, you can try the set command, which means it's going to set everything to that block. So I'm going to write set and one. Or you know what? We'll add stones for simplicity's sake. And this turns everything into stone. And um, if you're really good at world edit, you just remember like the numbers for each ID number. So I know one actually means stone since I've done this so many times. So I don't even have to type in the whole stone command. So there we have it. And let's say you want to add in a texture to this with multiple blocks. You write the same thing, but you want to add in other blocks. Like let's say you want cobblestone, you want andesite, and you can write comma and then any other block. And there we have it. We have a nice texture. So if you ever seen builds that look like this with a nice combination of blocks, this is usually how they did it. Now let's say we don't like it. We can just write undo and that undoes it. And if we want to redo it, just press redo. All right, very nice. And another way to select an object actually is the POS one and two command. So let's say we want to Let's say there's a builder right over here and we want to copy this and paste it over there, for example. So uh, usually you would write, use the X, select this position. And then for the other position, you would have to like place a bunch of blocks to select this corner. And then you would write the copy command and the paste command. And then we paste it right over here. So I'm actually teaching you multiple commands at the same time. Uh, but what if you do not actually want to actually place the blocks to get the second position? Just use the POS command so we don't even have to place any blocks. Just stand in the corner of the position and write POS 1, first position. It's already set and go fly up to the other corner and POS 2 for the second position. And then we're to go to the area we want to copy. So we want to look at where this cobblestone is just copy it and when we paste it it's gonna paste it in the same exact position like that where the cobblestone is so just be aware of that all right so now we're gonna learn the move command so let's select both corners of this and what you want to do after that is let's say we want to move it five blocks that way so we're to face the direction we want to move it in so I want to move it forward so I'm just gonna look at that and then we're gonna move and then five and then it moves five blocks that way. And you'll notice it will work the same way if you face this direction. It's going to move five blocks that way, etc. And you could even do it up in the air or look down. Now let's say you don't want to uh, look at the direction you're moving it in. It's not convenient for some reason. Let's say we want to move it up. You can just write move and write the how many blocks. And you can write up. And it's going to move upwards like that. And another useful tip about this, you don't actually have to type in the whole command uh, which direction. So let's say you're moving it up. You can just write the same thing. You can just write a U and then it auto fills the rest. And then you don't have to type in the whole thing. Same thing if you want to move it 10 blocks back, you can just write B for back and it goes back like that. Um, when you're copying, pasting and doing all these commands, they actually use a very similar uh, mechanism. And that is uh, minus A and minus E. So let me teach you what that exactly is. So let's say we want to add in the square and we want to put it around 
um, this. I guess they're both squares. Let's say we want to move it, so I don't know how many blocks. But let's say it's five blocks that way. And oh no, the stone actually disappeared. And that's because we copied the air inside of it. So to move it without the air, you want to write move five. And then you want to write minus A. And that does not copy the air. All right. Now minus E, what that does is copy the entity. So let's say you have an entity here. Item frames are a common entity. Like that, we have entity here. So let's select the area. Like that, using our POS command. And we're going to move it 5 that way. You want to write minus A and add in an E to it. And it copies the item frame. Now the reason why you do this is because if you don't add in the E, it's not going to copy the item frame. It's just going to pop off and then you're going to lose the build like that. All right. So another thing about this move command, let's say you want to move this patch of grass that way. I don't know why you want to do that. Let's say it was stone. That's why you want to move it. So you want to move it five that way. So we're going to move five like that. But it left like this patch of grass here and actually a patch of nothing here. So what if you actually want to fill this with something? Just press undo. You can actually add in a number after it or the ID number. So let's say you want to fill in the whole of cobblestone. And there we have it. Like everything that was moved, it's going to be filled in with cobblestone like that. And that's a good way if you want to like patch up grass, you can just write move five and then grass and then actually that's like the wrong grass. There's actually two different grasses, the grass block and the grass. So there we go, add in the grass block. No more hole when you're moving stuff like that. All right, so now we're going to move up to um, the flip command. All right, so let's say you have a basic L shape like this. Very simple. And you want to, for some reason, let's pretend this is actually a complicated build. We want to make this arm onto this side using the copy and paste. And uh, you know what, let's make it a little more complex like that. So we're going to copy, select the two corners, and we'd copy this. So go to the middle of the build. All right, copy. And then you want to face the direction you want to uh, flip it in. So if you face this direction or this direction, it's going to copy in the same direction. So we're going to write flip. And then you want to write paste. And then it copies the other side. Very nice. Now what if you actually want to put on this side, but you don't want to flip it. You want to actually rotate the build. So we're going to select the same command. I mean the same area since we are selected it. I copy. And we're going to rotate. And you want it in degrees of 90. So we're going to make it negative 90 degrees. So it's counterclockwise. And then we'll paste it. And there we have it, the other side like that. And that is how that works. All right, so for our next one, what if we want to copy a build, but we actually want to move the build. We don't want it in the original one. So we're going to select the two corners. And this time, instead of copy, you want to write cut. So write cut. And then you can write paste. And that's how you move it. And then the original one's no longer there. And just be aware of this command, the cut, the move, the paste, all of that. You can write the minus E and the minus A if you want to. All right, so the next one is going to be the fill command. So let's say you want to actually fill in this area like a hole here we're gonna make it I guess two blocks tall like this you want to fill it in with um, let's say stone again so you're gonna write fill and then you're gonna write stone and then you want the radius so let's say we have two blocks radius like that and it fills it all in with stone but you'll notice underneath this area is not filled in so if you want to fill it in downwards you actually have to write the def as well so you can write, um, we have to actually hover uh, the top layer where we want to fill it in. Type the same command, but this time we're going to add in another number for the def. I'm going to make that two as well. So now it's going to be filled in the whole entire thing with stone. You see like that. Very nice. And another useful command to use is the stack command. So for example, we have a rail right over here. 
get our basic design. And we, let's say we want to extend it that way. But you don't want to copy and paste every single one, okay? What you want to do, you want to copy the same thing. So we're going to select these two corners. And you want to write the stack. And you can write 10. For example, it's going to stack 10 times that way. Like that. And there we have it. That's how you extend it. And if you, so let's say we want multiple tracks, you can select this area here and we're going to stack it this other direction. And that's how you add in uh, multiple tracks like that. And that's how the stack command works. And actually, that's one of the most useful commands I use. All right, so next up is going to be the line command. Now, this is actually very simple. You select two points. Let's say you added a block here and you add a block here. And you want a simple line that connects the two blocks together. Select the two corners, write line, and then you want to write the block. Let's, I'm going to use 35, 14. That's going to be wool, red wool like that. And it makes a line. Now this is very useful. If you're making a bunch of lines, you can go right over here. Make a line like that. And you can actually, let's make a, let's make a triangle for an example. And this is like very useful command. All right, so next up is going to be the walls command. Now the walls, it's self-explanatory. Let's say you want to make a wall around this build. <laughs> the build is a bunch of signs. So we're going to select these two corners. And we want to make this four block tall wall around it for some reason. Select the two corners. And you run on type in walls and the block you want. Let's say cobblestone. Make it a castle or something. And there we have a nice prison for our signs like that. We've got a bunch of walls on either side. Very nice. All right, so for the last command I'm going to teach you for today is the center command. That's very easy. So let's say you have a build right over here. So you select the two corners, and you want to figure out what is exactly in the center of this. So we're just going to type in center and type a block. Say red wool, for example and it adds red wool in the center. And this is very useful if you're trying to find out what's exactly the middle of it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, my basic World Today tutorial. Now this is just the basics. I'm gonna have a second video of some more basic commands because World Today is such a vast topic and I just don't wanna overwhelm you with the first video. It's already been a lot. Uh, so just take some time, just practice these commands and I'll see you in um, episode number four of Foxtrot School of Realistic Building. And if you guys found this video helpful, you can hit that like button down below. I appreciate it a lot. Subscribe if you had already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in episode four.